This looks like organized crime to me. This was something that was very calculated and very planned. And it's not like something that I've ever seen before. I'm gonna tell you this, I don't believe your brother's ever gonna be found. Hi, where are you guys from? Georgia. We're in Cartersville, Georgia. Perfect. Well, I'm so glad that you're here. We're really glad to be here. Well, right away, there's a soul that's coming through. And this is crazy. Um, did you lose somebody who was murdered here in this world? I think so. They keep Cause... showing me, please sign, do not cross. And I see this investigation. And they're showing me there's questions over someone being murdered. His brother went missing. About 17 years ago. He's here. We don't know where he is. I gotta tell you something. When I'm connecting with your brother, I'm seeing things that are really bad. Yeah. Things that are unthinkable. I mean, extremely unthinkable <laughs> things, and that's what I was afraid of. Your brother showed me they found his clothes. They found clothing of his. Yes, they did. But they didn't find his body. He's been missing for 17 years. I'm gonna tell you something. He tells me he was dumped. <sighs> And you know what's crazy is this. I'm asking him, you know, who did this to you? Who did this to you? And your brother goes to me, I'm going to be very honest with my family. He goes, I was involved in a lot of bad things here in this world. He can't tell you who was involved in it because he knows what would happen. I don't know. Listen, I can only tell you what the <laughs> souls tell me. No, I, yeah, I know exactly. I know. I know. He's protecting me. He's protecting me and my family. I'm going to be very honest with you. He's showing me the moment I'm connecting with him. This looks like organized crime to me. Yeah, he like was involved. Uh, he was involved with um, mafia types. And uh, he was oh. in the yeah, cartel. drug cartels and mafia types. That's what I'm talking about. Because this is yeah, something. He was, a, he was a tough guy. This was something that was very calculated and very planned. And it's not like something that I've ever seen before. Because I literally see your, I can't even pinpoint where your brother is. I wish I could. I don't because think it's, it's necessary it's, at it's this It's not point. necessary, but he's protecting, he's protecting the family. I'm going to tell you. Because the people that did this don't need to be found. They'll kill everybody. It's, it's a bad deal. Your brother shows me this. I see his body being wrapped up and I see his body being moved. And I see that there were, there were several people involved in this. So wherever he was, or wherever his body was, was he's telling me, I'm going to tell you this. I don't believe your brother's ever going to be found. And I'm telling mm. you this for a reason, because your brother just said to me something that I've never heard during a reading. Your brother said to me when I'm connecting with him, that his body was destroyed. That's what he tells me. He says that there are no remains, Matt. It's nothing. The stories are true. I heard he was dumped in a bed in a bad of acid and sent to Mexico. So you heard this? Yeah. There are rumors and stories, you know, you never really know what's true. So we haven't really we don't know I know a lot what of to people believe myself. and what not. I know a lot of people myself and a lot of people have told me to leave this alone. And I have. I just wanted to know the truth. I wanted to know if he was if he was still out there somewhere. Unfortunately, he's telling me that he's not. And I That's wish. Okay. Got a guardian angel. That's all right. At least he's here with me. But you know what? I'm telling you this for a reason. I'm telling you this because literally when I'm connecting with your brother, he doesn't want you to have to search for him anymore. I have for my whole for 17 years. I see. Life. He says to me, Matt, he goes, my brother hasn't stopped. He says to me, my brother has searched and searched and searched and searched. And I need him to stop because you have lost a huge piece of your life just searching for your brother. Your brother says to me, it's not fair to you. He tells me there's one thing that he wants to let you know. Your brother wants to thank you for the way that you took care of your whole family. He says, because literally, Matt, it's like my brother became everyone's father. He tells me about the way that you looked after everyone, the way that you were there for everyone. And your brother says to me, Matt, please, please, please let him know that I love him so much. I love him more than anybody. But I'm going to tell you something that you need to know. Your brother says to me, Matt, he says, I got myself in too deep. He goes, I messed with the wrong people. I got involved with the wrong people. He says, and Matt, there was no way that I could escape. So know that even though your brother passed in this way, he says, Matt, he goes, it was like a suicide mission. He says, because when I got involved, because with this, I want to call it gangs, but with this gang activity, he says, I did this to myself. I've never blamed anybody else, but I've never put the absolute blame on him. He was, he was lost trying to find his way. I'm going to tell you something. Your brother tells me this. He says, Matt, he says, I'm going to be honest with you. He says, before I even went missing, he tells me that he suffered here in this world. He tells me that 
he suffered and suffered and suffered. He tells me when I'm connecting with him that he had all of that he had addiction issues. He's telling me that he had anger issues. He shows me all of the above. Do you understand that? Yeah, that's what that's what started this whole thing was um we used to kick doors in together for the mob. <laughs> like that was that was the life that he was heading towards and I was heading towards to two a long time ago before I decided to make a change. And that's how it started. He was a tough guy, a really tough guy. And he had a lot of issues. He tells me, and I will tell you this. He says, Matt, he goes, what my brother was so upset over is that he had the option. He could have followed your path like you did and went to the life of a family and went to the, went to the working life. He says, or I could have followed this other path, the dark path. He says, and that was the path, unfortunately, that I chose to follow. But his biggest regret was hurting you in the meantime, because you feel some way that you could have saved him. And he's letting I you know. Saved a million times I felt like I could have saved him. I could have, every time I got pulled over and taken in and questioned about my brother, I could have turned him in at any moment. He would have went to prison for years, probably the rest of his life. And, but at least he would have been here, but. That ain't my life. That ain't the way that we, I can't, I can't, I got to stop blaming myself, I guess, no. That's what the message is. And you know what's so crazy? There's also a dog that's here. Your dog passed. Um. Oh God, there could be. A boxer. Who had the boxer? That's Cash! It. Oh my God, no, that's my that's dog. That's your dog. Is that Cash? He's showing me this boxer that he's pulling through, telling me that the boxer's with him. Oh my God, I think that's my dog. What do you mean you think that's your dog? I had a long relationship with an ex and I had a boxer that I raised for eight years. And when I left, I left him with my ex and about a year, two years later, he got hit by a car and killed. He's and here, I, he's here. The oh souls can see one another and your brother just came through and he said to me, their dog is here, the dog is here. I'm like, what dog? And then all of a sudden he was showing me this boxer and telling me that's the dog. It's gotta be cash. That it's dog is here. Cause listen, even though you didn't know his brother, his brother knows you. I talk to him all the time. So listen, what's so crazy is this. He said to me, Matt, she feels so upset because literally you didn't get to say goodbye to that dog and you were trying to get that dog back. He's telling me you were trying to get the dog back or trying to get, get back custody of that dog. I did at one point in time, um, there was some question about his care and I tried to get him in with my brother. My brother kept him for a while and ended up giving him back to my ex. And um, I was trying to find a way to keep him. I couldn't have animals in my house. And I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to him. And I was really upset because I felt like I abandoned him in a way and that he would feel like I had just left him behind. Please know that that dog is with you and know that awesome. that's, that dog is an angel watching over you because even our pets watch over us in spirit. That is amazing. That's awesome. There's one that. other thing I got to tell you. Hold on. He keeps telling me about the tattoo. Would you get the tattoo in memory of him? Yeah, you can't really see He's it. He's got a hairy chest. Very what hairy the hell is this? Hairy. Is that a tattoo? Is that here? What the hell am I seeing? Is this? Yeah, it's all hairy chest, but I got, a, I got a tattoo. My brother had a rebel flag on his chest. And I got it in memory of him. So know that that's his way of acknowledging. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my brother. Because he's saying about the tattoo, letting you know the fact that you got that. It's his way that's of acknowledging awesome. in spirit that he knows that's that you great. did that in memory of him. That is great. Oh, Thank right, you. I don't so leave you with that. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, listen, I could have went without seeing your nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Free peep show. <laughs> <laughs> Who's paying who tonight? All right. That's all I got to say. <laughs>